G'day guys, it's Trav here from Neighbourhood. Are you wanting to create a product library of goods and services your business sells? Well, through HubSpot, you can easily track your products and light items within the platform and we're going to show you how to do that right now. As a heads up, you'll need either Marketing, Sales, Service or CMS Pro or Enterprise to utilize this feature. And if you're keen on more practical support inside HubSpot, Neighborhood offers a comprehensive, easy to follow course so you're making the most out of your HubSpot investment. Stay tuned for more info at the end of this video. And if you wanna take your learning offline, we'll include a free downloadable PDF in the description below. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on the cog at the top, doesn't matter where you are. And on the left hand side, we want to go all the way and scroll down and we want to go to objects and then we want to go down to products. It's going to bring up the product page. This is where our products live. Now the products are going to live here uh, and definitely help out in the quoting area. Um, now payment links are here as well, a fairly new feature only available in the US. <clears throat> it also will allow us to add the products into the payment links area as well. We're not gonna to cover too much into quotes and payment links for now, it's just more so the products and managing these products in there. Now, if you're a company that has thousands and thousands of products, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna say, all right, this is going to take me years. Uh, we can go to the create products, <clears throat> we can type in the name, the SKU, the description, image URL, the folder, any of this sort of custom properties we've got, uh, and then go through and create them all and create another. The beautiful thing about it is you can go to actions uh, and you can import these in a mass. So we're going to the import tool, which is the import tool for anything really. And we can start an import here uh, and we can go through and import the products go through. So you might have multiple files or one file um, with, uh, in this instance, um, we're gonna do a single object, but say for example, you had products, but also other information in there that you might wanna bring into say, say you've got one central document and in that document you've just got customers and deals and and, and and companies and products and everything like that that's where you'd use multiple objects for that one document but for this one you would just do one object go to next and we want to make sure that we click on the products area and then go next now um, you might have specific products in the third-party platform if you're using Shopify, um, there's a native integration that you can do. You just click on it and it will auto port across all of the products for you automatically, which is beautiful. Um, if not, if you want to do it and you're working on a spreadsheet, Google Sheets or an Excel spreadsheet, CSV specifically, um, what I will recommend is that um, you want to click on the very top uh, and just make sure you get that dummy file um, just to make sure that you have uh, the correct layout um, when you import it. Otherwise, you're going to spend all this time bringing it in and mapping it and then all of a sudden it's just going to screw up. So make sure you uh, use that uh, file at the very top um, just so that you can go ahead and manage it. Then you'll go through, it will import it all <clears throat> and you will go back to the products page. Um, so we've got the products page, um, we're going to have um, the source, HubSpot, any SKUs that you've got um, and um, unit prices and when it was created as well. Um, I would su suggest as well if you are manually putting these in, create a folder as well just so that you can best categorize each of these. Um, but if you click on these here specifically, you'll bring it up and this is an example that we've used before where it will bring this in, uh, you will have unit costs. We'll also bring in the margins as well and then any multiple currency prices. All of these are custom as well and you can create and import these and create new product uh, properties within that as well just so that it's tailored towards yours, uh, your products and services that you offer. And there you have it. You now know how to create products and light items inside HubSpot product library. And if you're wanting to make the most out of your HubSpot investment, Neighborhood offers a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, CMS hub in depth, ensuring you and your team are best serving your customers while developing efficient internal processes. We'll include a link for this below. As well, if you're after a PDF version of this for later, or you're just passing it on to a made in need, we'll include a link in the description as well. And if you've gained value from this video or you're keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, happy HubSpotting.